Metro Bank on Transfer to PS Bank. How to send money from Metro Bank to PS Bank via mobile app online. And if you're new to this channel and you want more helpful videos like this, please click the subscribe button. So, gamit ko ngayon yung cellphone ko and install ko na rin yung Metro Bank app. Kung hindi mo pa ito na-install, you can download it from Play Store or App Store. So, I'll open this. So, I'll click got it. And I'll go ahead and log in with my username and password. Uh, by the way, kung wala ka pang online account with Metro Bank, meron kaming ginawang video about it. You may click this I button to check that video. And click log in. And there's another notification about OTP generator wherein hindi mo na kailangan hintayin yung SMS sa cellphone mo or sa local number mo. I think mas beneficial to sa mga kababayan natin abroad na iba yung number nila. Sa next video na lang natin i-export yung option na to. For now, I'll tap maybe later and also this. And andito na ako sa loob ng uh, online account ko with Metro Bank. Currently, meron akong 5,000 pesos na balance. Later on, dapat mabawasan to. Depende sa amount na itatransfer ko sa PS Bank. So, para makapag-transfer dito sa banang taas, I'll tap these three lines. And transfer to other bank. And you can transfer via Instapay or Pesonet. Ang kaibahan ng dalawa is yung Instapay real-time yung pag-transfer. Ibig sabihin, magre-reflect agad yung pera dun sa pinagpasahan mo. While for Pesonet, hindi siya real-time. Pero mas malaki naman yung pwede mong i-transfer. That's up to 200,000 pesos. Kung kailangan na mag-transfer ng more than 50,000, peso na yung piliin mo. Pero kung less than 50,000 lang naman, pwede na yung Instapay, which is yung first option. At yun yung pipiliin ko. So, I'll tap this. And kung mapapansin nyo, dito meron akong BDO and BPI. Ibig sabihin na kapag transfer na ako sa mga accounts na to in the past and sinave ko siya as beneficiary. Later on, isa-save ko rin yung PS Bank as beneficiary ko. And may save na siya dito sa list ko ng uh, enrolled accounts. So for now, I'll tap this transfer dito sa baba since first time ko magka-transfer sa account na to sa PS Bank. And for bank, uh, tap ko to. Hanapin ko yung PS Bank. And ito siya. And for account number, i-enter ko dito yung account number sa PS Bank na pagkapasahan ko ng pera. So 12 digits yung account number ko sa PS Bank. And by the way, uh, pinapasok ko po sa sarili ko ring account, yung PS Bank account na nilagay ko dito sa akin na kapangalan. So, ang ilalagay ko dito sa other details like for first name, address, is details ko rin. Pero let's say sa ibang tao na kapangalan yung account na pinagkapasahan nyo, yun yung ilalagay nyo rito sa name and address na hinihingi requirement dito. And for email address, gusto ko itong palitan ng mobile number na lang. And ilalagay ko rito yung mobile number ng owner ng bank account na pagkapasahan ko. And ito yung option na sinasabi ko kanina where ini pwede mong isave yung uh, account number as beneficiary. So, I'll tap this para masave siya. And in case gusto kong mag-transfer ng pera sa account na to next time, pwede kong piliin na lang siya sa list of beneficiary ko. Hindi ko na kailangan in manual entry yung name and yung account number. So, I'll tap next. And I'll choose this account. Isa lang naman yung account ko with Metro Bank. Now, transfer 500 pesos. And as mentioned here, 0 pesos yung transaction fee, pero normally may charge talaga to. So, bago ako mag-proceed, check ko muna yung online account ko with PS Bank. I-check ko yung current balance ko dito. And gusto kong i-test kung real-time talaga yung pag-transfer pag via Instapay from Metro Bank to PS Bank. So, view my accounts. And ito yung current balance ko. It's 9,015. Dapat later on maging 9,515 pesos na to. So, balik ako sa Metro Bank. And click next. And please ensure all this information is correct. Uh, so, tama naman lahat. For remarks, optional lang naman to. Pero pwede kayong maglagay ng note to recipient. Or pwede kayong maglagay ng message to recipient. And I'll click submit. And hintayin ko lang yung OTP na masend sa phone ko. And na-receive ko na siya. So, I'll enter it here. And click submit. And ito na yung result. Uh, transaction is in progress. May reference number dito. Always make sure na isave niyo yung reference number. Just in case magkaroon ng uh, issue. Let's say hindi na transfer ng maayos sa kabilang account yung pera. Meron kayong proof ng reference number ng transaction na ginawa nyo. And pwede nyo i-report yun sa Metro Bank. And na-receive ko na rin yung text confirming about the transfer. So I'll tap OK. 
And ito na yung account ko sa Metro Bank. Naging 4,500 na lang siya. Kanina 5,000 to. Nabawas na yung perang tin-transfer ko. So, check ko yung PS Bank ko naman. It's 9,000 currently. So, tap ko to. And naging 9,515 pesos na siya dito sa taas. Dito sa bandang baba, uh, merong remittance na worth 500 pesos. So, nag-reflect na rin siya agad sa transaction history ko. So, real-time nga yung pag-transfer from Metro Bank to PS Bank via Instapay. Wala naman ako na-encounter na issue. And kung meron kayo ibang naisip na video na pwede namin ituro online, please let us know by providing a comment below. And please like this video if you think nakatulong tong video na to sa inyo. May iba pa kaming videos about money transfer. You can also check this. And also, in case you're interested, may mga videos din kabi about money investment. You can start investing sa maliit na halaga. And this is Lou from Invest Library. Until next time, bye-bye!